Hey, what up YouTube? My name is Noah. Today I got another interesting video for you. Just kind of giving you an update, uh, talking about some new plants that I've got. Um, <laughs> showing off my boy. Hey buddy. He really likes it when I talk, so every time that I, I start talking about a video and stuff, he just likes to come over and you know, give him some pets. There's my girl, Amy. Good pups. Come on, boo-boos. Okay, so I'm gonna have to turn it off to turn it around. All right, open this right up. Uh, right here, you can see some roots sticking out. This is, uh, it's just been, you can tell by the squeeze test. It's not soaking, but it's been moistened. I have a canna lily in here. You don't want it soaking wet because what happens is if it's, if it's super wet, the canna lily bulb will probably just rot. When they're when they're growing, uh, that's a different story. When they have the roots and you know they're they're in a pot growing, you can give them a little more water and they can handle it. But uh, before they've actually start to put out any foliage, if you give it too much water, uh, there's a good chance that it'll it'll rot your uh, your root. So you you don't want that too root to, to rot. Uh, the best thing you can do is listen to the instructions. Um, okay, so we'll come over here couple new things you might have noticed there's white fuzzy cactus right here I got a couple variegated jade um, I have no idea what this is but let's uh let's just try and showcase these a little bit more so believe it or not I'm almost certain that these are the same cactus these were the exact same price. This is from a convenience store. This is from somebody local who is just trying to get rid of their cactus. So pretty blown away by how cheap this one actually was. And there's almost no damage on it. There's very, very minimal damage. You can see a couple of spots, but uh, the camera, camera can't even pick it up. It's, it's very hard to notice as long as, uh, with these white fuzzy cacti, as long as you don't overwater them, let them get waterlogged, they should be fine. But the, the white hairy ones allegedly are a little more prone to, um, to rotting, uh, in general. You might notice the lithops are gone. Um, I ended up doing a little arrangement, burying them a bit deeper and they ended up, all of them just went mush. So I'm not very good at <laughs> growing lithops, but uh, I tried. My girlfriend really likes them. So we might take another stab at that. And then this, take it out very carefully. I don't want to knock anything over. This is such a, <laughs> mind the, the hairs. <laughs> so yeah, th I'm not entirely sure what this is. I think it could be in the uh, agava family, like the century plant, but I don't know for certain. I found the name online. I'm going to look it up again, look more into it. It just, uh, it was one of those things where I was scrolling and I seen it. And also I was at uh, the same place I picked up this plant. I seen this and I was like, oh, I've never seen anything like that before. So I, uh, I picked it up. Put that in carefully. Something that's nice about this one. Check out, sorry. Check out the variegation on that, how it comes in that purple, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green, white. It's so nice. So I'm gonna grow these out into little bonsai. At least attempt to. We'll see, you never know. You know what? What's a good idea one day might not always be a good idea the next. You come over here. The uh, pineapple guava is still looking nice, going strong. Come in. There's no signs of pests or anything. You come over here. So I noticed that the, the leaves have all these little suck marks on them. And I was like, no, you know what? That's probably just it getting old and dying. But uh, it's actually... If you can see this little thread right there, it's actually covered in, it was covered in spider mites, like totally covered. And uh, this plant's super poisonous. So I figured, you know, uh, 
<laughs> they're not gonna like to suck this plant. Boy, was I wrong. They, they sucked like three leaves dry, and overnight I came in with like a, it had shed a bunch of leaves, which happens. You know, don't worry about it as long. This thing can be cut down to literally nothing. I I've, I cut it down to just this stump, and it pushed out two more. Actually, it pushed out a bunch, and I just left two to grow. And then uh, these are going to continue to just keep on keeping on, and uh, it'll be a little bit more of a uniform tree with uh, a bit of a collar. And I'll let it branch out. As long as the spider mites don't get to it, come back. Here's the, uh, oh, what's the name again? Red custard apple. Sorry about that. It's kind of, not sure what that is. But yeah, kind of a neato, neato plant. I absolutely love the foliage on it. I like that the leaves are nice and long and it's a big full tree. Over here, speaking of big full trees, this is a Barbados cherry that's absolutely gone rampant. You know, before it was probably like this, a little more confined. Now it's a little bit more like a wild hairdo. But still looking really great. And I've got that Spanish moss hanging in there, giving it that tropical vibe. I got a pink princess, philodendron. My variegation on this is nil. None, zip, zada. Uh, you know, it gets a little flex here and there, but in all honesty, I kind of don't like it. I'm looking to get rid of this one. If somebody has a, a fancy for it, let me know. I might get it for free. My pineapple plant's doing really well. It's pushing out these nice, beautiful leaves. Some of them are flawless, which I'm really digging. So what's gonna happen is, this is eventually gonna throw out a flower and then that flower is gonna self pollinate itself and then you got pineapples. Then right here you got all the babies, the offsets similar to bananas, how bananas grow, they grow pups. Right here is our, oh, here's our fig. It's pushing out some odd, odd colored leaves. That's a, a sign of a uh, fig mosaic virus right here. And it's, Fairly common and almost every fig you get will have a, a fig mosaic virus. You can treat it, you can get rid of it, but uh, it's pretty common. I if you have fig mosaic, don't necessarily think that all, all hope is lost. Just give your plant a considerable amount of love, treat it right, fertilize it, give it enough water, and it should bounce back. We come over here in the guava. This is doing absolutely amazing. It's some of the uh, the fruits are falling. I'm giving it enough water. It's just that's how it uh, they, they grow. They'll drop some random fruit if they can't support it. Here's a new branch being pushed out. You can tell there's something wrong there. There's some kind of deficiency. So I'm going to feed this and you see it on the other leaves how the veins are a little bit dark. And then the between the veins, you can see it gets light. That would be indicative of some kind of deficiency. So I think that's probably, it might be uh, needing some iron, but it could be a number of things. I gotta do a little more looking into that. Got the ZZ in the corner. Big, nice plant. Barely gotta worry about these. I like the the camels of the plant world. If you literally dig up the, the corm of it or whatever, like the root section, it'll be like a giant lump. And you could just take a single leaf off of that plant and stick it in the ground and it'll start making its own. It's kind of crazy. Just shows how, uh, how prolific that plant really is. Some of you are probably waiting for this. The green on green Monstera. Still going beautiful. Nice beautiful leaves. This one is covered in uh, the shit that falls from my fan. Pardon my French, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to wipe these off. If you come over here, you can just barely start to see the variegation starting. You got a little bit down here. I think that's all of it, some down the middle. So that's gonna be a nice variegated, oh, variegated half leaf, perfect. It's 
it's exactly how it's been pushing out the variegation the whole time. Not necessarily like the full leaf at a time, but it gets quite a bit of it. Has nice variegation on it. Come down here. I bought these two ties, the tie constellations. Um, I'm new to tie constellations. I don't really know very much about them. I really, really, really dig the variegation of them. How it's like that starry kind of like a constellation, if you will. Hence the name. But absolutely cool. And if it wasn't wet, you'd be able to probably get a little bit better of a visualization of how the variegation actually affects the texture. And these aren't the most amazing quality. You know, I got little brown tips and stuff like that, but they're gonna keep on keeping on. I'm gonna grow them out. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys uh, what I got down here. It's a couple plants growing. Here's a Benjamin ficus, ficus Benjamin. The really nice variegation. It's that lime green with a full green center. Super, super nice. I love it. Got a snake plant, nice and full. <laughs> I have a ficus elastica. Uh, this one's called Taniki, if I'm not mistaken. Here's a variegated Kerhart Hoya. Lucky Bamboo. This is Lemon Cypress. If you agitate it or walk into it, if you, um, you know, give it a good smell, it smells just, it smells very lemony. I was wondering what that noise was. It smells very lemony, very fresh, really fragrant. Apparently it keeps away mosquitoes. Come over here, this is my Monstera. The leaves aren't perfect because every time they unfurl, they come out like a little snake. Um, my cat Octavia. She likes to come over and eat the, the leaves. Not eat them, she just pierces them with her fangs and then makes them kind of unseemly. She slowly started to stop. So some of these new leaves are coming out nice and pristine. Like this one, beautiful. I, I don't know whether or not this is uh what kind of form of monstera this is. Judging by the size of the leaves, maybe a large form, which would be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Here's Talanzia. Uh, some people call it Wandering Jew. Um, I don't know why they call it that name. Weird. Here's a pixie plant. I don't know the actual uh, name of that either. Another Talanzia. Here's a um, rosemary. So, Whenever we're cooking and stuff, we come out here and pick up pick a fresh tip or a couple tips and cook with it. It's nice to have around the house to have fresh herbs. Uh, outside, you know, you gotta keep an eye on this, by the way. This is what happens when you let it dry out. Some of these bottom uh, branches, they don't do so well. I think it could be a number of things, but I gotta come in here, do the old snip snip. Probably go cut here cut here cut here and a cut here and it'll be like a brand new plant then when i bring it out into the the spring i'm gonna give it a nice organic fertilize and uh, hopefully hopefully it's uh something that does really well we've got some pothos here or pothos however you want to pronounce it it doesn't really matter to me i know what you're talking about picking up what you guys are putting down this is uh, Pothos and Joy, and then this one's, uh, I don't know, like Winter Wonderland or something weird like that. But you can see some of the, the leaves, they're, they're not super variegated, and the ones that are in like full blown sun have that really nice splash look to them. Super pretty. They need to be up, up potted, they dry out too quick. I think that's part of the reason why this one's looking a bit more sparse. But also, I took a cutting off of one of the branches that was looking a bit odd. And uh, I put that in there. So hopefully, it'll it'll bush out more. I'm, I'm not a fan of how small these leaves are. I was hoping that they'd be a little bit bigger, kind of like this size. I mean, obviously, it's not a Hawaiian. But, you know, it still would have been nice. Would be nice if they're a little bit bigger. I'm going to try and figure out ways 
to, to try and coax them into being a little bit fatter. Maybe they want uh, my grow tent or something, but yeah, who's to say? Anyways, oh, is she eating it? Yeah, pothos. This is just a regular one. There's a bit of variegation in it, but I'm not sure if it was reverted or if it came out that way. Scarlet, what are you doing? Dad's boy. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you feel like dropping down a comment in that comment section, I'd be very happy to answer that for you. And uh, as always, peace.